So this is Kinloch Horn. It's such a remote part of Scotland in the Highlands and uh, I've found this beautiful rock formation in the background here. It's such a moody day. There's very fine mist coming in which is creating some good separation um, in the background and I'm going to go and stand just in this little V just here and uh, it should make for a nice portrait. So to take this shot I'm going to be using the Imaging Edge app for the Sony cameras remotely and it's about 15 meters away to where I'm going to be standing so it should be just close enough to take this shot. All right let's uh, connect. It's a good job these cameras and lenses are weather sealed. Uh, 50 millimeter f7.1 no need for a low f-stop with this scene with all that mist. These self-portraits are not just a vanity exercise. In fact, they're to add scale and interest into a landscape scene. Plus, they make some good thumbnails for YouTube videos. Oh my God, there's so many midges. <laughs> there's a lone tree just on top of the hill here and it's got great separation just poking out of that rock. It's so beautiful. If you're in the Highlands and you want to get a photograph of a stag or a young buck, then your best bet is Kinloch Horn. They are literally everywhere. They're dotted around, even at the side of the road. Check this out. Now, I think I'm going to stay in the car for fear of scaring them off. 200 millimetre. This young chap is only a two-pointer, but a spectacular creature all the same. Again, the atmosphere adds separation to this f2.8 shot. Right, I just had to do a quick pit stop because there's an amazing scene just forming over Glencoe with the layering of the mountains and the clouds. It's just stunning. I'm going to shoot it with my 70-200mm. Uh, Look at this.
Good morning, everyone. This is Glenetiv, beautiful part of Scotland. It's very remote. The drive in here is about 30 minutes and there's no way out. It's a dead end, so you have to go back the way you came. And it's a beautiful morning. It's fine mist in the air, but that's pretty good for photography, as long as you don't get your, your lens too wet. I've just been doing a reconnaissance down by the inlet in, off the lock here. I had a great night's sleep. Minus 20 sleeping bag, earplugs, no wind. I slept better than I do at home. <laughs> so I'm just gonna enjoy my cup of tea, make a bit of breakfast, and head down the lock and see what we can shoot later. Okay, so let's take this opportunity to talk about today's sponsor, which is Jackery. Now being off grid for landscape photography trips like this, where you're cut off from the outside world with no mobile phone connection and specifically no power, these trips wouldn't be possible without products like the Jackery. So I've been wanting to work with Jackery for quite a number of years because I believe their products are first class and I also believe that the future is absolutely renewable energy. Jackery provide power units like the Explorer 1000 and portable power station and Solar Saga 100 solar panels allowing you to be off grid for days at a time with hours and hours of power for all your cameras, drones, fridges, mobile phones, computers, tablets, the works. Anything that consumes under a thousand watts of power the Jackery Explorer 1000 will charge and power those items. My trip from London to the Highlands which consisted of about nine hours of travel the Jackery Explorer 1000 only used about 12% power on the fridge coming through about 25 degree heat. Having a MacBook Pro with me on location shoots like this is an absolute must for editing and the Jackery Explorer charges and powers my MacBook Pro just as if I was at home. The Jackery can be charged with AC power or a DC car lighter but the real world use for these power units is using the solar panels. When I was charging the Jackery Explorer with the solar panels I was producing around 125 watts of power from the sun on a fairly bright sunny day. Comparing this to when I was charging it at home on the mains I was getting around 145 watts of power so that's pretty good going for being outdoors using the sun. The Solar Saga 100 solar panels come with these easy kickstands to achieve the best angle towards the sun and a handy zip pouch to quickly connect the charging cables to the jackery. Another useful feature of the Solar Saga 100 is the addition of the extra USB ports A and C, which can be used to power and charge devices like mobile phones, tablets, while at the same time charging your power station. Once the jackery is charged, simply pack away the cord, fold the panels, and the magnetic handles will hold them together ready for packing and traveling. Okay, so let me show you what the jackery is powering right now. So we've got my cameras being charged. I've got my camera batteries being charged. I've got my MacBook Pro being powered by the AC unit, and I've got my drone battery as well. And it's drawing out around 74, 75 watts of power. So when Jackery and I decided to work together, one of the stipulations on the collaboration was that I was to create 10 high definition photographs that they could use on their website, showing the product in a real life situation like this in the Highlands. This is a place called Kinloch Horn, which is deep into the highlands. There's no one around for miles. There's no power. There's no mobile connection. My wife's probably going berserk. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you how I set up some of these product shots. It's always good practice to compose a scene off of your tripod so you can move around freely and find the best spot. Then offer the camera up to the tripod. I've closed the inner door to the tent to create a blank canvas for the jackery.
So I'm going to take an underexposed plate shot for the sky as it's a high dynamic range scene and then an exposure for the jackery. Let's set the timer for 10 seconds to give me time to get into place. Okay, so that's not a bad start to the composition. I've got everything going on. I've got the moody skies and the rugged landscape in the background showing my location. I've got the boot open showing my fridge in the back, which is usually powered by my jackery, which is in the front of the tent. Um, I've got me on my computer editing my photos. I would say the only thing the image needs now is a camera on a tripod just in the foreground showing that I am a photographer. So I'll put this in the composition and I'll take the image using the camera I'm filming you guys on. So everything is exactly the same as before. Here's the composition and here's the finished product. A two image exposure blend with some faded blacks. Okay, so for this setup, I've set the solar panels in the frame, charging the jackery itself, and I've positioned them just away from the sun as to not create too much reflection on the panel itself. I've got me on a chair, charging my phone from the jackery, even though I can't use it to its full extent. And I've got this little calagas in the foreground to show that I'm on a camping expedition. Got this beautiful rugged scenery in the background. Should make for a nice shot. This is my composition, 24 millimeter, focusing on the jackery. No need for an exposure blended image here. And here are some other product shots from my trip. 